We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. A Memorial Day get-together for you here at the ballpark between the Oakland A's and the Houston Astros. So stepping in, Ramon Laureano. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now here's the pitch. Slow roller left side. Throws in time and that's out number one. Next up for the A's, Tony Kemp. One out, nobody on. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And he misses again, ball three. McCullers has tossed more than 500 innings at the big league level and posts a respectable ERA in the high threes. Springer has a read on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now to the plate, Marcus Semien. Bases are empty here with two men out. Popped up. Guriel over to his right. And that retires the side. At the plate, Michael Brantley. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Next up for the Strohs, Alex Bregman, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's ready with the two two pitch. Chopped in front of home plate. And there are two away now. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. The 2 1 home. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Batting four. The designated hitter. Throw over to the bag. And a dive, but he's back in. And again a throw and he has to dive but he's back in easily. Altuve leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Stepping in now Jordan Alvarez lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time he is swung on and missed he got him on strikes. That'll bring up the power hitter Matt Olson. Past meetings against Lance McCullers. He's 0 for 7. And the 2 1. The count now at 2 and 2. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Correa onto the grass. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Mark Canna batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. The 2 1 will not catch the zone. Ball three. And he misses ball four. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman, hoping to stay hot as he came through with a four hit contest yesterday afternoon. Set. Here's the 3 1. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. You know, when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. 
payoff pitch one more time. Line toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Batting seven. The left fielder of the two. Chris Davis. At the plate now, Chris Davis. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And facing right-handed pitching so far in this season, Davis has a batting line residing in the 290s, looking to boost that even higher here. Struck him out. No score here as we play inning number two. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back days with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Two and two. Here it is. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Here's the payoff pitch. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. One and two. One ball, two strikes, count. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. High fly ball out to deep right field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings in George Springer. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Davis is under this one. And that's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the former gold lover, Josh Reddick. The 1-1. One -one is in there for the second strike. And a fastball called strike three and the side is retired. Settling in now, Austin Allen. In yesterday's ball game, he launched a couple over the wall, so we'll see if he's got some more thump in that bat here in this one. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Under it now is Brantley, and he has it for the first out. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Third inning, no score to this point. Drilled right back up the middle, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Now that second base, Tony Kemp. In now, Tony Kemp. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base, almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Catch made there by Altuve, and there are two gone now. 
striding in for Oakland. Marcus Semien. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Now the Cuban import Yuli Guriel. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Fouled off. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Piscotti. It's on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. One out now in the Houston third. And up next, the former Angel Martin Maldonado. The 1-1 home. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number two. Here's Michael Brantley. Over one here in the early going. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. At the plate, Matt Olson. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. Still all zeros in the run oh, column bad. here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. To the plate now, Matt Chapman. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Hit hard to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Altuve for one. Over to Guriel for an inning ending double play. bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman he's 0 for 1 thus far this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case so it's a backwards K on the changeup that time Alex Bregman is sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning he's fallen behind now three and one well hit, but right into the teeth of the shift. In time to first, and there are two away. Now the Astros' designated hitter, Jorgan Alvarez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. 
Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Stepping in, Chris Davis. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty. But in his last at-bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line. Too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. So digging in now, Stephen Piscotti. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Ball taken there. Two and one now. From the belt. Kicks and deals. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Three balls and two strikes for Steven Piscotti. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Digging in now, Austin Allen. Flied out in his first at bat, so it'll make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is laid off for ball 2. Three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Drilled down the line, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Number 22. Three and two to the A's center fielder. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Stepping up now, Tony Kemp. 0 for 2, he's flown out twice. The set and the 1-1. Strike 2 taken, a fastball and clips the inside black. Hit back up the middle. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Standing in, Carlos Correa comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Fouled away. The 3-2 one more time. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Center fielder going back. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. Into the box now, George Springer. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. In the air now, out to left. Davis comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Now at the plate, Josh Reddick. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. 
has to put the ball in play. One run, two hits. No errors in the ball game for the Astros to this point. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Striding in for Houston, Yuli Gurriel. He flew out in his last at bat. Three and one, here it is. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. So coming to the plate, Martin Maldonado. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, Matty, it looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch to A.B. Too high, ball three. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And here's the left-handed hitting Michael Brantley. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. To one and two now. Grounded to third. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Riding in once again, Marcus Semyon. He'll lead it off against Lance McCullers. 3-2 pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter's aboard to start the sixth. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Simeon's off and running. A bullet to first base. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. And there's your unassisted double play. Now that, that so now it's Mark Hanna. Mark Hanna. The 1-1. One, one. Back up the middle. That's through for a base hit. His second of the ball game. At the plate, Matt Chapman hit hard up the middle. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. The left of the field, Chris Davis. Into the box, Chris Davis. Two balls and a strike. Even though he has a shutout going right now, this is a really tight game, and I don't think they're going to think twice about getting him out of there if he starts to lose this command. Let's see if he can start wheeling it in a bit again. Two balls and two strikes to count to Chris Davis. Hit hard toward the right side. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. Rogelio Armenteros trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Standing in now, Stephen Piscotti, and it's fouled away. This is foul right side. One run, six hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see who's going to win this duel. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Reddick has a read on it. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch. So just the one run scores here in the frame. sixth inning now and that'll bring up Alex Bregman he was sent packing on strikes in his last trip you know Matty tough to go down looking right there especially in a long at bat I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode he battled he just got locked up look for him to have another quality AB I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now and that'll get down out there for extra bases 
And the Astros get something started right away. It's a leadoff double. Now back, second baseman. Okay. At the plate now, Jose Altuve. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. The batter, number 44. Designated hitter. Stepping in now, Jordan Alvarez. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. So a big spot here. Bases loaded, nobody out. And ambling over to the batter's box is Carlos Correa. Down low, two balls and a strike. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitch is falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits three. A dive, but it's off his glove. And the tag gets him. But they do grab the lead on the run that scored away from the play. J.B. Wendelkin takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. George Springer will be the first to face him here as he'll stand in with two men in scoring position and only one away. The one two still a ball and two strikes runners are at second and third with one down now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left and he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. The 2 2 one more time is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. The third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Reddick behind the ball in two strikes. He's got a chance to ring up back to back case here and that would be huge in this situation. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Austin Allen already the beginning of the seventh inning here as this game has had a very brisk pace to it so far. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Shot toward right center. And that's going to be a base hit. So the possible tying run is aboard here to start the seventh. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano, grounded to the right, and that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter number five, second base. In now, Tony Kemp. Tony. Oh. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Three and one to him now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Swing and he pops him up. Bregman just to the left of the mound. One out. So they'll go to the bullpen now and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Matt Olson will be the first to meet him here and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. All even now, two and two. 
One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. And this will be fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. There's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So striding in, Mark Canna, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Line drive to center field. Springer is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Lou Trevino gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. So here's Yuli Gurriel. A little bit outside, two and one. And he goes with the pitch here and drives it the other way to deep right. Piscotti's going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Ready for another chance. Martin Maldonado. It was a walk in his last trip. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Heading after it is Piscotti. But he can't get there and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Into the box, Michael Brantley. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Good battle. Count remains full. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. That's lifted the other way out to left. Davis is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. In now, Alex Bregman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Ryan Presley takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Pitch on the way. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3 and 1, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Chris Davis. Chris Davis. set and the two and one pitch swing and a miss strike two hey this pitch better be careful right here my man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field and he strikes him out as well so make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen he's fallen behind now three and one one thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. The 3 2 pitch is swung on and missed strike three. Ladies and gentlemen. New pitcher coming on now, the right-hander Yusmero Petit. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. He doubled his last time through. 
And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. No hits to this point. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. Here's Carlos Correa now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. The one two. Squared that one up just a little late. Now another one two. Pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone, and it's even at two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. Okay. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four, anyways. Nope. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Number four. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. And not in time as the second run scores. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. So now to the plate, Josh Reddick. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. So a runner at third, two men are out, and digging in to bat next, the Cuban import, Yuli Gurriel. Now here's the signal from the dugout so he'll take first here on the intentional walk and that makes runners at the corners with two away. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field and this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And to score is the runner from first. It's six to one. The left fielder, number 23, Michael. To the plate now, Michael Brantley. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. He's set. Here's the 2 2. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And he fouls this one off. Pops this one up. Simeon onto the grass. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Oh, 
set to start the ninth in this one. Digging in once again, Austin Allen. He singled his last time up. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Springer comes on now and he has it one down. Stepping in, Ramon Laureano. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. The 1 1 home. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit hard on the ground to second. Altuve fields it cleanly. On to first, and now the A's are down to their final out. The Into the box now, Tony Kemp. And he needs to make Tony. something happen. They're down yeah. to their final out here in the ninth. Last strike now for Oakland. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Got him. And Oakland, good night. Wow, another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball, and that's just what they're giving us. And tonight's comes to a conclusion, 6-1 to one the final. The Strohs wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Rogelio Armenteros gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. Ryan Presley works two full innings in relief to record the save, his fifth of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros. Six runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Athletics, one run, eight hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and five minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.